So I'm a massive fan of kart racing games. You all know that the Crash Bandicoot kart racers are some of my favourite games of all time. And recently I found out that there's a Madagascar kart racing game. Somehow it took me 10 years to discover this game. It, I'd literally never heard of it until a few days ago. I'm ashamed. I was on eBay and I saw it on there for £10. Couldn't resist the offer. Had to cop it. So I've been playing it over the past few days. And now I'm going to turn into a professional game reviewer and review the game. 10 years later. So I guess the first thing that I should talk about is the characters that you can play as. There's only nine characters to choose from. Four of them can be unlocked by playing the championships mode that I'll get to later on in the video. The five unlocked characters are of course Alex, Marty, Melman, Gloria and the Penguins. And I like how if you play as the Penguins you get to play as all of them at the same time. And the four characters that you can unlock are the Chimps, Julian, Bob from Monsters vs Aliens and Shrek. Bonus point for having these two in the game. Although I was disappointed pointed to find out that Mort and Maurice weren't in the game. I mean, they, they added them in the loading screens, but not as playable characters. What's all that about? Like, how is Shrek and Bob in the game, but Maurice and Mort aren't? Don't get me wrong, I love how they're in the game, but it is a Madagascar game. I think this should be the original character roster, and then Bob and Shrek could be bonus characters. That would make more sense. F's in the chat for Maurice and Mort. Maybe they'll do a 10 year anniversary DLC update next month, where you can finally play as them. Now, there's four different championships that you can play. 50 cc, 100 cc, 150 cc and 200 cc mirrored. Obviously 50 cc being the slowest and 200 cc being the fastest. And inside each one there are three like mini tournaments. You start on the first one of course and you have to come in the top three to unlock the next one. And once you've completed them all you unlock a character. That's how you unlock the four characters by completing all of the four championships. You win each mini tournament, each cup, whatever you want to call it, by gaining points. Obviously if you come first in a race you're going to get the most points and obviously at the end of it whoever has the most points wins. It can get a bit repetitive considering there's only nine tracks in total and each championship has the same three mini tournaments with the same three tracks in the same order. At least the last one is mirrored so it's slightly different. As far as the tracks go they're pretty good. They're based off of scenes from the Madagascar films. Shrek and Bob also have their own track. Bob's track is like the hyper spaceway of Madagascar carts. There's portals and lasers and shit and most of the tracks have obstacles as well that you have to watch out for like a giant shark that can flatten you, sliding containers on the ship, moving lasers on Bob's level, boulders that can fall on you. So instead of just watching out for items, you have to watch out for obstacles as well. Which brings me to the next thing that I want to talk about items. The items work in the same way that they do in other kart races. You hit a box and you get something. You can get basic things that you can throw down on the track like a sack of bananas or a bomb, but there's also items that are character specific. Shrek has this green gas bomb thing. Bob has this thing where, I don't know, I think he throws his eye at you. However, the most annoying item to get hit by is by far King Julian's. His item is this disco ball thing which sends you flying all over the place. You have no control over the cart and it's especially annoying on the volcano track, where for the most part there's no walls, so it will send you flying off into the fucking lava. If King Julian hits you with the disco ball on this track, say goodbye to first place. My only other complaint about the items is that you get hit by them way too often. The special character attacks come at you from behind and it's impossible to dodge them. Unless you've got the box. The box is basically like the shield in Crash Team Racing. If you've got that, you can't get hit by anything. Now let's talk about the driving itself. You hold down the right trigger to drive and it's quite slow, but you can power slide to go faster. And when I discovered discovered that and that's when the crash team racing came out of I me. Mean, I was trying to drift around the whole track. Basically when you drift you charge up this bar at the bottom left called turbo and once it's full or not even when it's full whenever you have some juice in it you can use it to boost. I do have a bit of a problem with the vehicle physics. When you crash into another player or when they crash into you it can send you way off course. It, sometimes it can make you go backwards which I guess is more realistic but we're talking about Madagascar. I don't think realism is what we're going for here. I mean just look at this clip where King Julian crashes into me. What the fuck even happened there? I've noticed it's always King Julian who pisses me off the most in these races. Also, one thing I think I should mention is, look how terrifying Marty looks when he wins a race. Uh... You okay there, Marty? Oh yeah, and how could I forget about the tricks? This game has stunts that you can do. When you're in the air after going up a ramp or something, you can use the D-pad to do backflips and shit. Although I do find it funny how you can do the most basic trick 
like a front flip, yet it will still pop up with unique trick. Like, no, it, it really wasn't. It was probably the opposite of that, actually. There are other modes that you can play. For example, this one called Move It, Move It. And I don't really understand. You go through these gates and get a point. But if you have the disco ball on you, going through one gate counts as five points. And the disco ball alternates between different players, but I'm not sure how you get it from them, though. It just sort of happened. Obviously, the one with the most points wins. And there's a time trial mode that you can play and a checkpoint race mode. There's also a multiplayer, which which I'm assuming is where you can race online with other people. I don't have any footage on that though because my Xbox 360 can't connect to internet. But even if it did, I don't think anyone in 2019 will still be playing Madagascar Karts online. Or maybe a few people still do, but I can't see it being many. Man, I wonder what the online multiplayer experience was like when Madagascar Karts was in its prime. I guess I'll never know. Unless they release a 10 year anniversary remaster with Morris and Mortis playable characters next month in October, then maybe I'll be able to experience Madagascar Karts online. But yeah, overall, this is a solid game. It's not perfect, it has its flaws, but regardless, it's a solid game. So thanks for watching me become a game reviewer for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you all in my next video.